Hello guys, uh, welcome back to this uh, Gulan course, Abdu here again. Uh, Alright, so today we're gonna learn more about um, errors, differ, panic and recover. But first, I just want to mention something, you know, for those that are uh, watching and not practicing at the same time. Uh, please keep in mind that this might seem like uh, it's easy, okay? But uh, this is actually called tutorial trap, okay? But trust me, it's gonna be a lot harder for you like to get started on coding after you finish the course. So try to use some ID, try to use like... Um, Goland or even uh, VS Code, it's uh, for free, uh, or even uh, Golang um, uh, Play, like on their website. Uh, if you like, if your uh, system like cannot handle any of the softwares, okay? Because practicing is important. Because uh, just watching and listening is not enough. Um, all right, so uh, let's go back to our lesson, okay? Like I said, we're gonna learn today about errors, differ, uh, panic, and recover. Uh, all right, so Golang uh, doesn't have uh, try catch like in Java, so you can throw error in Go, but it has differ panic uh, and recover. Okay, we'll go one by one and see uh, how each works and helps us. Uh, all right, uh, so in Go uh, errors, okay, return always, always two statements. Either the operation is completed or failed. Okay, we can also use nil if you remember we just like uh, this function several times. Uh, we can use uh, nil function, okay, like nil means uh, false, okay? So usually we say like if error doesn't equal like nil, okay? If error doesn't equal false, return uh, like the error, okay? Otherwise, if uh, error equals nil, okay, return in the result, okay? Because if uh, the error equals false, it means there's no error, okay? But if the error doesn't equal uh, nil, it means there is an error, all right? So let's get, let's get started, okay? So first... Uh, like always uh, package okay and then we're gonna need to import uh, some hold on we're gonna need to import some libraries uh, the first we're gonna need um, fmt and then uh, errors uh, okay let's see let's create our fun uh, our first function let's say function and call it total okay and say uh, give it like uh, two values let's say x and y and you want them both to be any like uh, integers we can also do like this remember we did this before like this but you know this is like easy and saves time okay and then we say the whole uh, function is an integer okay because the value that is going to return us is going to be uh, an integer because there is x and y and they are both integers okay there is no string or float or anything okay and then we're going to say either return results i mean uh, which is total or return error okay and then here we can use f we can say f uh, let's say y equals zero okay uh, let's say um, okay let's say return not print let's say zero and then we say errors that new okay here right now we can create like a custom error like our own error uh, let's say cannot divide by uh, by zero and then we can do again the like return and let's say x divided by uh, sorry by y then we can use nil okay uh, let's see okay right now let's go create like uh, the main function uh, let's see and right now we need to create like two variables for um, well, two variables for uh, total and for error okay so uh, we can use like the shorthand let's say result for uh, for total or error okay you, you can do error or I just like error you know like equal uh, total and then the value of of x let's say 8 and the value of 2 let's say 2 okay and then we say if uh, error doesn't equal uh, nil uh return no hold on if mt uh let's say if mt dot print line uh, and let's say error okay and here we can use else like otherwise print the result okay if there is no error uh print line result okay great right now let's run our app and see uh, like what happens. Ah, you can see here it prints four. Okay, let's right now change to 
to zero and like run our app again. Okay, you see here, it says cannot divide by zero. Uh, you see here, we used our own, we created our own error, okay? Uh, you can see here, otherwise, for example, if we create our own error, it's gonna return like, uh, let's say coding, okay, only developers would understand, you know, like uh, a normal person who doesn't understand about like anything about uh, uh, programming, they would understand what it means. Um, uh, all right, all right, okay, okay. Uh, we also have something called uh, recover, okay, let's uh, recover uh, is used like with controls like conditions, uh, switch, uh, etc. Okay, like I showed you here, like uh, with errors, you know, the whole app stops like uh, if there is an error, you can see here, see, so it's gonna divide by zero and then it stops the app, it doesn't uh, continue working. Uh, but if we want like the app to continue working, even if there's an error, we can do like uh, recover. Let me uh, show you, okay? Let's say here, differ the function, okay? Uh, I guess uh, this is actually obvious, so, uh, okay. And then here, we're gonna say, um, if empty, let's say print line, hold on. Uh, print line and print and do like recover, okay? When there is an error, it's gonna recover and continue working. Okay, let's remove F and also let's remove nil because we only need one return here. Okay, let's remove an error. Okay, so only one return, which is an, in an integer. Okay, we don't need the error anymore. Okay, and also let's uh, go back here because the function is executable. Uh, I mean, it's not executable, I'm sorry. Uh, we can just like uh, use format Hold on, format and then print line, and then we say total, uh, what does it equal? Uh, let's give it again eight divided by zero here, okay? So we can see like what it's gonna do. Um, and let's do the same thing and say uh, here by two, okay? Uh, if empty uh, print line. Okay, and then let's run the app again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my bad. Uh, my bad. All right, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, here we need to put empty parentheses. Great, okay, uh, let's, okay, uh, great. Right now you can see here, it gives us the error first. It says, um, div like the integer is divided by zero. So this is uh, an error. And then zero, okay, for a divided by zero. And the nil is coming from recover, okay? And then four is coming from a divided by two, okay? If we, for example, let's do more two, okay? Let's put again here zero, okay, let's put, even nine or whatever. Let's say here uh, eight. Okay, and here let's say ten or say hundred. Okay, let's see. Because remember, before we used uh, recover, it stops before um, like at zero. Okay, it doesn't continue. Okay, let's let's run our app again. See here, it doesn't stop. Okay, let's comment uh, recover. Okay. Let's come to recover, let's come to recover, and then let's run the app again. Okay, you see here, it doesn't get like past the first uh, zero, okay? If we, for example, change this one to two, and then this one to zero. Let's put, for example, here, okay? Let's put, let's say, if empty uh, print line and say uh, the end, so we can know when it's, when it's finished, okay? All right, so you can see here it printed the first one, then there is an error, then it stopped. See, it didn't print anything else, nothing else. It didn't even get like through the second error. Okay, so this is how we can use recover. Uh, all right, you know, if you want the app to continue even if there is an error. All right, so we can also use here, you can see, I use differ. We can also use differ uh, like alone without uh, recover. Hold on. Uh, okay, uh, let's use uh, differ right now. Mm. Hold on. 
uh, okay, let's remove this function and say func, let's call it show one, uh, okay, and say uh, we want it to, no, 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 hold on. Uh, okay, func, and we say uh, show one, and then uh, let's say if empty, and then we want to make it like executable. Uh, print line and say show one. Okay, let's copy it. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, and then say show two, and then change this place to show two. Okay, and then say uh, show three, and let's give this one like a, a string. Okay, like a variable, and say it's a string. Uh, and say here s. Okay, so we can define like its value later. And here, because they are executable, we can just go here and say show one. Okay, uh, show, you know, executable means there is no like a return inside. Okay, uh, okay, no, this one should be show two and then show three. And for show three, we need to define like the value of s. Let's say hello, uh, hello there. All right, let's run the app again. Okay, right now it says show one, show two, and then hello there. Okay, right now let's go ahead and say differ. Okay, to differ, show one a little. Uh, when we go here, you can see it says show two, and then hello there, and then show one. Okay, so it delayed uh, show one, okay, until like the other functions were executed. Um, uh, all right, okay, great. So as you can see here, it's printed like show two as the last. Um, uh, okay, so uh, show one, you know, just like uh, to delay things a little, okay, like to postpone like um, the function a little, okay. This is like useful, for example, let's say uh, you want to get like the data from uh, the API or from the web, okay, you can use differ, so it will postpone like the function a little, okay, until it gets uh, the data, okay. So it will return the function empty because sometimes, let's say, when you um, want to get the data from an API or say a website, if there's like, let's say, a lot of requests. Uh, it's going to be a little late, okay, and then the function will come back uh, empty, okay, or it will like run uh, the function before the function like gets the value back. Um, all right, so right now let's go ahead and try, uh, right now we used uh, errors, differ, and we used recover. Let's go ahead and try panic right now. Uh, okay, so Panic is uh, like very useful, let's say, uh, uh, remember we used Panic when we created uh, Golang APIs. So uh, Panic handles like our errors, let's say if we're not dealing uh, with it, like with errors gracefully, okay? Meaning uh, if we have, uh, let's say type of errors like we did before, like with uh, can divide by zero, we already know which function will return an error and which error, okay? like. We have 10 functions and we defined like all expected errors, okay? Uh, but there is still some errors uh, that we didn't know or we didn't count on, you know, on happening. So we didn't define them, okay? Um, so this is how uh, the panic can help us, okay? Let me show you like an example. Well, let's remove this and we're gonna need, let's remove this one too, let's remove the first function. Uh, let's remove this and then say import uh, and then say if empty, and we need also OS. All uh, right. Let's try, for example, let's create like a simple, like little app to open like a file. Okay, let's say, uh, or let's not even, we don't want the value. Okay, I just want to explain to you how to use panic. Okay, let's leave uh, the value like uh, empty. Okay, and then say we want only errors. Okay. And then we're gonna do like this, and then we're gonna uh, like call our library OS, and then we say open. OS means operating system, okay? We want it to open a file, let's say slash uh, users slash file, or you know, like this. That let's say text. I don't have this file on my uh, uh, on my PC, okay? So hold on, let's go here, and then um, let's use F, okay? Let's say if error, hold on, error again, remember, doesn't equal 
uh, Neil who want you to print just the error okay let's say or let's use uh, let's use panic first and then I will show you what happens and then error okay and then we can say uh, okay because we don't have any other value okay so uh, let's see okay let's run the app because I just want to show you how this works okay you can see here right now because we don't have this file it says no such file or directory okay even though I didn't find the the error myself okay see here it stops the app so let's go here let me show you let's say uh, if empty print line and say uh, let's say the end again print line and then the end and you know when we run our app see it doesn't it doesn't print the end see it stops the app here so the app will not freeze or hang okay let's say if we changed uh, panic to uh, um, format print okay let's say if empty and then say print line okay and then let's run the app again see it's not gonna freeze it's not gonna I mean stop the app the app is just gonna like continue doing what it's doing okay but sometimes like this the app could freeze or could hang and then it's not gonna get even like here to the end okay and then the app is just gonna gonna freeze okay and nobody wants that um, Okay, so this is how like we can use uh, panic if you can see. Okay, uh, let's say if we didn't put like specific error. Okay, well, we can just use panic to stop this like some function or even like uh, some uh, control flow. Okay, if it doesn't get like the data we want it um, to. Okay, so panic can make the uh, app uh, like uh, stop uh, working. Okay, instead of like freezing or hanging. Because like I mentioned before, sometimes like an API uh, when for example when I get like some data, okay, it comes back empty let's say for some reason okay so the function uh, uh, or the app okay freezes okay and to get rid of this we can use a panic to stop that uh, like the whole app okay uh, or let's say for example when I get like uh, some data like from uh, database okay or file or something like this also and it doesn't find it you know so the function freezes hangs okay uh, so we can use panic to free the app and stop it okay so uh, and if you want to run it again of course it's up to you uh, all right so that's it for today um, I hope like I guess you got the idea we also did like this on like when we built uh, Golang uh, API you can go back again and check I guess you can understand uh, like more okay uh, and you can try to create like some little app okay on your own you know with everything you learn and check you know how uh, like to get more experience all right so uh, that's it for today okay if you have any question obviously just you know leave it in the comment below or on the Q&A and I'll make sure to answer when I can uh, all right so see you guys on uh, the next lesson